Hey everybody, I'm Boris here at my house, much like all of you I'd imagine. We're getting a lot of time inside these days, a lot of time at home, and I thought, well, why don't we draw something? I don't know if you're like me, but I like drawing, I like race cars, so let's put them together. What do you say? All right, I'm gonna check the chat, I'm gonna see what's going on, people are tuning in, make sure everything's working. This is our uh, second shot at this. If I can get this right, I want to do this every weekday around noon. So let's uh, let's try this again. We're on Facebook and Twitter and several different places. So it uh, looks like things are working. This is our... There I am. All right. Well, are there any requests out there? First of all, let me know what you want to draw. I think I'm thinking today we draw a race car. You can see I have my JGR cars laid out here. Uh, I think we're going to draw a tire and wheel again. Give that a shot. And uh, anything else you want to. And also, if you get your kids drawn or you're drawn, put it in the comments. I want to see it. I want to see what people are drawing out there, okay? Let's get started. I'm going to start us off with a clear canvas here. Now, I'm on an iPad. Doesn't mean you have to be on an iPad. Pen and paper works. Marker, crowns, whatever. Markers, uh, what else? Sharpie would work. You know, Instagram. You can draw on Instagram. I'm telling you, there are a lot of ways to do this. Do whatever you want. So we're going to start out here. I'm going to draw a race car from the front view. This is a little weird way to draw it, but this is the way I like to draw it, okay? Start with a line like this. Actually, I'm going to choose a black marker first for this one. Let me go up here. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Let's choose that one. Erase that. Let's go to go here. Start with a line like that. I know what you're thinking. This is a race car? So I started with these two parentheses, right? Two parentheses, and then I attach them at the bottom. Got it? You there? All right, good. Then come up here, draw a dash, angular line like that, and then match it right over here. Uh, you see where we're going with this yet? I know it did look like a race car at first, and then give me another parenthesis up here to match. All right, while you're doing that, I'm going to read some comments here, see what's going on. A lot of people watching on Twitter, Facebook, Kim's watching, Devin's watching, asking if we can draw Martin Truex's car. I bet we can do that. I bet we can do that, Devin. All right, I'm going to check Twitter too, because there's got to be a lot of people watching on Twitter, right? Yeah, for sure. Lots of tweets, lots of retweets. Thank you all. Okay, you got that part drawn? Good. Let's add the windshield. Can you, can you tell what angle we're drawing yet? I know it's a little weird, but why not? These are weird times. All right, we're gonna draw the windshield. We're gonna draw two little lines like that. And then we're gonna connect, connect them at the bottom. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that, windshield. See where we're going? Next, let's do the headlight decals. We wanna start about halfway on the parentheses. See right there? Grab that line. Then bring it over. Make it look like a Camry. We got to give it an angle like that. And we're going to actually going to connect it all the way to the edge. All right, got it. Come over here and then try to get it about even with the other one. Do an angle. And then carry it up. Carry it up again. There you go. Add a little headlight. No, you know, headlight in there. We'll, we'll finish it. It's not done yet. Are you with me? All right, so I'm looking at the front of our Camrys here. Got Kyle Busch's Camry, very aggressive design, as you can tell, but a beautiful design that we're gonna try to imitate here. The first one I see, let's, let's first of all, let's draw a little circle right in the middle, right in the nose where that Toyota logo would have gone. See it? We'll clean it up, but that's just a marker for where we're gonna go right now. And then as I'm looking at this, we've got a line that runs at the top along the headlights up here. Look at that. Something like that. You with me? Bring it together? Don't worry, if this is your first time watching, we're gonna to try to do this every day around noon. I'm just doing a little trial around here in the evening. And uh, so now you know tomorrow, get your pen and paper or your iPad or your, your phone or whatever you have to draw with and uh, a napkin, whatever. You'll be ready tomorrow, right? I'm taking requests and I wanna see those drawings in the comments. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna continue this in here and it's gonna connect like that. 
and I'm going to fill it all in with black and we'll add in the Toyota logo a little later. Look at that looking good. All right, let's do this bottom part of the grill here. We're going to draw a parallel line that runs that shape. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just doodling. We're just sketching, having fun, getting our mind off things. Anybody out there a long time drawer like me? I started out drawing race cars. In fact, my degree in college is from is in art, UNC Charlotte. And I've gotten to design race car paint schemes. I've gotten to make portraits and paintings for some of our sponsors and drivers. It's been really exciting. So I figured there's gotta be a lot of people out there that wanna draw, let's, let's try it here. All right, we got these big spikes at the, on the camera, big aggressive spikes. So they follow this line that the headlight is, is taking right here, this dash line, start it right below it and give me a, a triangle kind of like that. See what we got there? Do that on both sides. We're drawing our race car Camrys here. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. And then what we'll do is we're just gonna connect these lines right up top, connect them all together. And then it's really whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna add some, some grill markings in here and I'm actually gonna fill all this in with black. Pretty good. We're just gonna work in black and white for now. Don't worry about color yet. But this at least give you a little template. You can turn it into whatever car you want it to be. And we'll add in that Toyota logo a little bit later in the middle. All right, how's it going so far? Pretty good? While you're catching up, I'm gonna read a couple comments, see what's going on out here. Looking good, looking good. I can't wait to see all your drawings. Grab the kids. Let's see, uh, Tracy out there says, Tracy was an art major and a theater major, that's cool. Uh, let's see, Michelle's inside watching. Devin says he drew a picture of Kobe, that's awesome, Devin. Sean's a big fan of Martin Truex. Thank you for saying I'm good, doing a good job, Sean. I appreciate that, my friend. All right, oh, Riley Herbst is watching. If Riley Herbst is drawing with us, Riley, you have got to send your drawing in, okay? We're gonna get them printed. We're gonna we're gonna spread them across the country. All right, Riley, you watching? All right, let's get back to it here. All right, now this is just a doodle. I, this isn't my isn't my most accurate Camry, but it's getting there. Okay, we'll we'll fix it up. It's all about practice, right? This isn't isn't about perfection. And we're missing a couple more grills. I don't know if you can see that on there, but those Camrys, they uh they got these two big openings on the on the outer sides too. We gotta we gotta put that in there. That really brings the car to life. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a, a dashed line like that. I should say the angular line, see that? And then we're gonna make it a really skinny triangle right over here on the sides. So fill it in with black. We'll come back in and give it some more detail. We're just working on the outer shape right now. Got that? I know you all have some die casts at home you can look at like me. Very cool. If you want to, if you want to add some detail in here, grab your eraser. And you can actually erase into the black a little bit, like I'm going to do here to give this grill a little bit of a, a grill uh, graded look to it, or whatever you want to call it, honeycomb look, I guess you could say. And I'm actually going to draw in that Toyota bug with the eraser. Look at that. And again, we're just doing a rough doodle here. Nothing, nothing too realistic, kind of cartoony. All right, you following? Let's go back to our pen. Let's add in these roll bar braces in the windshield. Usually we run three of them, sometimes more, but we'll put them towards the driver's side. Looking good. All right, now I wanna add some really subtle hood lines, like a really thin line. Don't, don't get too crazy with these. We don't want them overpowering anything. Just a thin line to show the edge of the hood. Very good. You can add a couple more here. That's where the Camry has them. You can even add a couple little, uh, they're not flaps, but they're vents for the, for the air that might get caught up under the hood there. All right, looking good here. Now that we have the thin pen out, I'm gonna go in here and add a little scribble into the headlight decals just to make it look more uh, realistic. So you can do some hash marks like this. 
Look at that. Really brings it to life, doesn't it? Some hash marks just make it look like a, like a glass look in there, or, a, or a plastic look, whatever they're made of. There you go. Next, don't forget the hood pins. I just put little circles on there. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Makes it look like hood pins. We're getting pretty darn close. You can stop here or you can keep going. Like I might add in some interior scribbles in here just to make it look like there's a driver in there. See, we don't have to get too detailed. We're just trying to kind of make it look like there's a driver in there. Get a dashboard, add some more bars, bracing in there, roof bars. See where I'm going with this? All right. The next thing I want to do is get that thick black marker again. I'm going to add a shadow because the shadow makes it look like it's sitting on the track, right? So I'm going to pretend like the sun's coming from this direction, casting a shadow over here. I'm going to draw an outline of the car a little bit. Just kind of make a blob of a shadow there. That's going to help it look like the car's stuck to the track. Something's actually going on. And I kind of lost my grill, so I'm going to go back into the eraser. I'm going to erase some of that black. Just get us back in action so you can see the outline of the car. And then I'm going to do some swooshes around here. Swooshes. Give it some speed. Swoosh is a very technical art term that I hope you learn. You got to write that down. There will be a quiz. Swoosh. Swooshes add speed. And that's what we're about here at Joe Gibbs Racing. So, get it in there. And now you have the front of one of our racing Camrys. You like that? Pretty good. Now it's black and white, so you can go in and add color if you want to. I'll simulate some crowns here. Let's see. Well, we had a request from Martin Truex's car, so I'm going to go ahead and, and draw that Bass Pro Shops camera. I'm going to pick my color. Just going to do some some color in here while we're at it. While you catch up with the black and white, I'm going to fill mine in with color and go from there. Of course, Bass Pro Shops Camry, bright orange all the way around. There's plenty of black in there as well. I'm looking at the 2019 car. That's the one I have here in front of me. Add it up there. Most of this is orange on that car. Look at there, look at there. Very cool, very cool. All right, coming together, but it's not white, is it? I'm gonna pick really dark gray. Since we did a black outline, I want to be able to see the car here. So even though in reality it's black, I'm gonna go back in here with some gray just to differentiate the colors. All right, looking good. Fill it in there. And don't worry, you'll be able to watch a replay of this or pause it and whatever you need to do in case I'm going too quickly here. I'm going to take a pause here, read some more comments while you're catching up. How about that? Is Riley Herbst still out there? Anybody see if Riley Herbst is watching our Xfinity driver? Kona's enjoying it. Mark's enjoying it. Let's see. There's Teresa. We are trying to get some trivia shows back up and running. Don't worry about that. We're working on it. Ben's watching. I'm going to switch on over to Twitter and See what's going on while y'all are catching up with your drawings. Oh yeah, we got people watching over there. I like it. <laughs> Sam Hunt, he's a team owner and driver, says that I am the Bob Ross the world needs right now. I can never, I can never live up to Bob Ross, but I am growing out the pro. I can't, I can't grow a beard as good as Bob Ross. That's Sam on Twitter. Pretty, pretty funny. Boris Ross? No, I don't even, I don't even deserve to live up to that name. All right, Devin says he's going to draw more. I want to see it, Devin. Post it in the comments, okay? Post some images of your favorite drawings, or if you're following along with us, post it in there as well. All right, look at that. We got the Bass Pro Shops camera coming together. Of course, we need that hood logo. Now, I'm not going to get really detailed on the hood logo. I'm just going to allude to it. You know what that means? Just put in the colors in there, make it, make it look close, right? So the Bass Pro Shops logo has a big yellow circle at its base, as its foundation, I should say. And then, of course, there is the bass. You cannot forget the bass. That's what it's all about. Picking a green color here. Coming in, drawing the bass, jumping out of the water like that. Remember, this, just sketching this really quick doodle here. Nothing too crazy. Got to give that bass a white belly. Come in there, give it a little 
belly. Come up here. Let's see, go a little darker on the green. Add some detail in there. Maybe some gills, maybe an eyeball. There you go. The letters are in dark red. Remember, I'm not going to write them all out. Just kind of, kind of alluding to them here. This is just a sketch. Just having some fun here. Pretty nice. They have the fastproshops.com on the bottom here. Just alluding to it. Johnny Morse's name up top. All right, there we go. Got that pretty good. Coming together, isn't it? All right, I'm going to go back in here and fix the grill a little bit. I want to see some more detail. That Camry is just full of aggressive detailing in that grill. It's really cool design in there. It takes this, this hash design. Let's see, where's my paint that? It's this hash design in here in the grill. See that? Hopefully that's showing up on the camera for you. So it's one of those and I'm going to come bring it back the other way. Perfect. All right, last little bit I'm going to add in here is the Camry word. Again, just kind of scribbling it in here. There's the C A M R Y. Just a little scribble, just to allude to it. That's looking pretty good. All right, just to give it a little more speed. You know what that means? Swooshes, right? Swooshes. Here we go. Speed swooshes. It makes it look like that Camry's burning down the track in a good way, not not literally burning, but burning with speed down the track. It always helps to add sound effects. Sound effects help drawing all the time. Might have gone overboard with that swooshes, but hey, you can never have too many swooshes. If I need to erase, I can either draw white or I can come back in and erase a little bit, but I'm gonna do some white in there. Martin Truex Jr. flying down the track in the Bass Pro Shops Camry looking good. All right. I like that. How about you? Pretty good. Remember, take a screenshot of yours or take a picture of it on if you're drawing on paper. Send it to me. Don't be shy. It doesn't matter how good or bad you think you are. We're all here to practice. Just go out and enjoy this, uh, this time at home while we're kind of stuck at home making the most of it, right? Keep sending me some comments. Let's see, uh, Nick's asking if we're racing on iRacing. Yep, we got a race tomorrow night, and then the big ones are on Sunday. Did you watch this weekend? How cool was that race at Virtual Homestead? That, that uh, Well, I'm not going to spoil it for you. If you didn't watch, go watch it, but uh, it turned out pretty good for us. I'll just say that. All right, there's that Truex car that was, rec that was uh, requested. Okay, I'm going to save that one. I'll post a screenshot in the comments, actually. Let me just uh, see if I can do that right now. And I'll try that later. I'm not going to get crazy here, okay?